go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up a champion. And in this video, we're only going to be taking up one champion this time. If you watched my last Mystery Rank Up Theater, I took up a ton. Seven stars. I got a rank three in there, some rank twos. I don't have unlimited resources, so I can't do that big of a rank up all the time. But this one is a little interesting. I hadn't planned on doing this, but recently, and here's your hint, recently I got this champion and I said, all right, I am going to take this champion up and play around, see what all the hype is about, because I hear a lot of people talking this champion up, okay? So without further ado, we are going to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one, Kushala. So I have heard quite a few people telling me that they felt that she was the best mystic in the game, or at least in the top three. And I was like, okay, I always thought she looked cool. You know, ghost rider, female ghost rider. She was looking really nice to me. Okay. And she looked like she was the ghost rider that we should have gotten. Other than that, I didn't really know that much about her. So when she came to the arena, I did not try to get her. And then folks were like, look, she would have been good for one of the Summer of Suffering bosses. And another one said, hey, she would have been good for the Crucible. Some of the fights in there, she would have been perfect. And I'm sitting there like, well, that may be, but I don't have her because I didn't have her above a uh, five star. Didn't have a six star, didn't have a seven star. And so I started hunting for her. And if you watch my crystal opening, you know when I got her. That very next level up, after I pulled her, I went ahead and ranked her up. And uh, as you'll see here, uh, I'm taking her all the way to rank five. Now, she does exist as a seven star, but one of the things that I was thinking is that her awakened ability is gonna come in pretty handy. I don't think she needs it, but I think it'll come in pretty handy. And who knows when I'm going to get the seven star Kushala. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, lately, my pulls have been a lot of dupes. So I decided to go ahead and take her up. Now, here's what's funny. The new Summer of Suffering boss is out. Mole Man. And guess who everyone is telling me is a perfect counter for one of the objectives? Kushala. Now, I already took her up to rank five before we knew who the next boss was going to be. But now I'm very, very glad I did. And... 
I am going to use her for uh, this Mole Man boss. Now, before I do that, I will take her into Realm of Legends just to kind of get a feel for uh, playing her. Because, again, I only had her as a five-star, and I don't really use my five-stars. So I had really no experience using her at all. All right? So um, we are going to, uh, after the rank up, we are going to take her into Realm of Legends. And I'll play around with her just a little bit, you know, one little fight uh, and see. Uh, one of the things that I did learn, however, uh, about her awakened ability, which is definitely going to be useful against Mole Man, is that she has the ability for her um, incinerate or, or something like that um, debuffs to turn into passives. And with Mole Man, if you already know, but Mole Man shrugs off debuffs a lot. And so if they are turned to passives, I do not believe he can shrug those off. So it will make it easier to fight him um, if she is awakened. All right. So Kushala is now my latest six star rank five. And I'm going to do a couple of other things with her as well. Um, like awaken her and uh, put some sig stones into her, that sort of thing. Um, so be right back. Okay, so I am not going to ascend her. However, we do need to awaken her. I have a few awakening gems here. And we are going to put all of these into her here. And we also have some generics. We're going to dump those into her as well. Ooh, nice even 100. And let's take a look at her signature ability here. All right, so the thing that I was focusing the most on is the second bullet point here. Her damaging debuffs have a 5.8% at level 100 chance for each active blessing, uh, for each active blessing to be replaced with matching passives with 20% increased potency. Okay, so that is her blessing and she gets quite a few blessings here max stack three so she can have what nine uh blessings so per however many blessings that she has the more she um puts those debuffs on the greater the chance for them to become passives so I'll probably put her SIG level up a bit more when I can. But that's all we're going to do with her right now. However, we are going to ascend someone. And that one is going to be right next to her. Serpent. Oh, yeah. We ascended him. There's a reason that... He is still in the Titan pool. He is just a beast of a defender. Okay. Now let's go ahead into... Uh, where are you? Special quests. And Realm of Legends. And let's go ahead and... 
bring her in. And this is me just playing around with her. I want to um, see how much, uh, how many blessings I can get, you know, that kind of thing. Let me uh, look again at the blessings here. So, well time block. And I love that she can block unblockable attacks. Um, well time block. Uh, heavy attacks and intercepts. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, just play. See what we got, all right? So that's a parry. You can see she's got two. Um, there you go, three. And I did a nice little uh, heavy attack. And I can see that she, uh, he has three passives already. Okay. Ah, I tried to intercept. And he stunned me. Okay, there you go. That was a intercept. Heavy attack. Parry. Heavy attack. Okay, he also power drained me, it looked like. But look, look at that. We're up to five, six passives. Okay. Soul Barb. Seven. Man, I see the, um, I'm probably not doing it right, but let's hit him with a special one. Wow, so that special one converted the passives. Wow, okay. That's good to know. Okay, so basically you wanna build up your passives and then hit your special one, which will, man, that just looks so cool. Um, and then you want to fire your special one to convert the uh, passives into uh, active incinerates. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for the uh, video. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment. Hit the like. Give me a subscription. All of that is absolutely free. So take care. And you all... Have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.